What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So this was a huge surprise when they announced this um, at the Game Awards. God of War Ragnarok has come out with a DLC. None of us really knew about this. None of us expected it because there was no DLC really um, or no DLC after the fact for God of War. So we weren't expecting God of War Ragnarok to have any either. I know at least I wasn't. So I was very pleasantly surprised when I found out that this is here so here we go so we've got god of war ragnarok now i want you guys to let me know in the comments were you surprised by this where was this something that you were looking forward to did you know about it ahead of time or is this something that kind of really threw you uh threw you to a loop but i also want to make sure you guys know i don't know what's going on with my streaming device right now but if anything is wrong with the brightness levels, let me know and I'll have to change some things because I, for some reason I can't get OBS since I downloaded the new update OBS, it's brightness settings went completely down. So if you see any weird, like the, if the game doesn't look light enough or bright enough for you, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, first things first here, let's check a few things black and white let's see graphics mode we're going to favor performance of course like always um high frame row mode is not on because i'm using a capture card and so therefore that doesn't mean anything we're going to turn this up a little bit to hopefully see if that changes um yeah so let's go ahead and get into this i re-downloaded the game i 100 percent platinumed this game um so and you can find that out by looking down here and you'll see that i've achieved every platinum i platinum this game except there's now um it looks like what 12 more um trophies available for this game now as you can see i 100 percented that and now we're on to ragnarok uh, so lots more trophies to get here, and uh, I'm really excited to get into it, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. And let's start it up. Also, before I... Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. I already downloaded that. What? I... It... I literally already downloaded it. I had a 12 gigabyte download okay this must be like a tiny tiny thing that it's still got to download this is so weird i already downloaded the new update and i guess you have to go in here and do it in the game itself again but as you can see it's it doesn't take very long at all so this is the perfect time to showcase a sponsor that we have um you can find her books on Amazon, and I'm going to go ahead and play this video. She has helped this channel out so much. She's an amazing author, amazing person, and I highly recommend. So we'll, while this is still downloading, we've got about 40 seconds left, we'll go ahead and play this. Today's video is brought to you by the book series Chronicles of the Warlands. There's a total of 10 books. This is the first book called War Prize. Definitely recommend you check it out. My wife absolutely loves these books. And if you have a significant other or maybe yourself likes to read fantasy style books, then this is perfect for you. She's also working on a new series, but obviously we can't uh, put any details of that out just yet. She's going to be the sponsor for a while, so make sure you check out the books. I'll have the links in the description. All right, so big shout out to author Elizabeth Vaughn for sponsoring uh, the, the, the channel. She's really helped us out a lot. So make sure you go check out her books if you have the opportunity to. Um, and now it's doing another one. I, this is so weird. Like I literally downloaded, I did the update already, but I guess you had to come into the game and do another update. So I guess there was an update to the main game. Then there was an an update inside the game too. So if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be a roguelike, meaning that you're going to, uh, I guess, continually get good gear. Uh, you're going to die, rinse, repeat as you're going through this, trying to get to the end or something. Other than that, I really don't have any understanding uh, exactly what it is. So I think we're all going to pretty much figure it out, but... It shouldn't take too long to download this now, as you can see. I've got pretty fast internet, so I do apologize for those of you waiting. If you're watching this video, just skip ahead a little bit, and um, if you're watching this later, I guess you could say. 
But uh, thank God for Giga, GigaNet, 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 <laughs> Gigabyte Internet. Oh, by the way, my dad is now home. He is 100% good. He's so much better, and he's finally uh, resting from his uh, heart surgery. He's, he's home, and I'm just, I'm so, so freaking uh, excited for him to be home. All right, so I should hopefully be able to get into it now. I might have to... Um, all right, so the following content is meant to be experienced after God of War can uh, you wish to proceed. Yes. All right. Oh, we got new difficulty levels, too. So we got show me will, resolved, courage, prowess, and mastery. 40 plus percent in the... Um, like, I've played the God of War games so much, and I've done... Even even like let's plays for it on uh, give me God of War, but we're going to go with show me courage, which is just your standard normal difficulty, because I just want to sit here and have fun and enjoy this. Um, and it's so much more enjoyable when we're not dying every second. If I feel the difficulty is too light on show me courage, then I will bump it up uh, to probably show me prowess prowess or even maybe mastery. Maybe we even check it out or something. Um, but I want to see how it is first. It's been a year. It's been over a year since I played God of War. So I don't want to just jump into dying every second because I don't remember how fast and fluid I was when I platinum the game. So it's been a long time. I just want to make sure this is enjoyable. If we feel it's too easy, we'll definitely bump it up. And let me know, does it look like the brightness is low to you guys? Because for whatever reason, my brightness on my TV and the brightness in OBS doesn't match. So let me know. And I'm also streaming this in HDR. You are certain you remember nothing of this place? Oh, nothing that would help us. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? I do not know. Oh, that's comforting. Christian, thank you so much for the membership Look, eight months. I know you expect more from the smartest man alive, but Odin always kept me in the dark about this place, which is why I urged you to seek Freya's guidance repeatedly. She does not seem eager to speak with me. Quite the opposite, brother. But you tell yourself whatever you need to. Looks like we have the same armor that we had on when we beat the Platinum. I see a shore ahead. Black sand. Exactly as described in the invitation. We finally bloody made it. Oh, it's so awesome playing this again. I can't wait to replay the entire game whenever it comes out on PC. Except we'll do a full Gimme God of War walkthrough. Uh, let me see if I can update graphics. Uh, we go even higher. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but ever since I downloaded this new OBS update, the brightness just completely went down. So I apologize if the game is significantly darker than what I'm actually playing. Something is happening. Back to basics then. Whoa, we just lost all of our stuff. Oh, we we're back to the basics. Oh man, we lost it all. We lost all of our armor. We still have our spear though. And we still got our blades. And of course we still got our ax, but it's at the very basic and very beginning. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. All right. Kinda gotta get back into the gameplay a little bit here. So here we go. Well, that felt unsettling, like we plunged into a dream. Mm. 
A refresher controls game can be found in the codex under lessons. All right, so we got it's like multiple directions here. Let me know if you guys can hear me and all that good stuff. It's just so great to be back playing with Kratos. I still hope that they don't give up on this series, that they still continue it. I mean, it's still one of the most popular PlayStation series out there. So I would love to see Kratos, his adventures, move him to Egypt now that um, Atreus has kind of gone on his own path now. Um, I would love to see that. Maybe take Mimir with him and, and uh, I think it would be cool to go to another conflict Yeah, perhaps we'll get some new types of gameplay, maybe. It's hard to say at this point. I guess we'll find out. Doesn't seem anyone's here to welcome us. Well, that's because you killed all the... All the gods. <laughs> so none of them are going to be here to welcome you. <laughs> Locked. I don't suppose you'll take that as our cue to turn around and leave. Where are the Sialfua? Simum Hautum. To be one's own master. Master thyself. A more poetic way of putting it, but yes. Explore the lower realms of Valhalla. Something is wrong. I feel weaker. Valhalla may not appreciate our breaking in. Oh, we got new enemies. Let's work with the axe first. Keep him at bay. Because I get used to the combat again. Alright, let's get in here. Oh, shit. My shield. Oh, I got no shield. What? Can you just break my shield? I've got no shield. I expected to encounter here. Curious. I want to make sure you guys can hear me, so hopefully the levels are, are good. So, I've got no shield. Or at least it doesn't work. Seems it's the way of this place to offer you a choice. All right. Um, okay, so we have got weapon path. Choose one. Rising chaos or impaling thrust. So we can do the path of the blades or the path of the spear. Um, drastically increase the power of the rising chaos skill. Let's show skill video. Hold R2 to swipe blades upward and launch enemies into the air. Impaling thrust, hold R1. Impale spear into an enemy. Which, which one do you guys think we should do? Um, I mean, I feel like I, I want to keep it, I want to keep it to uh, God of War-ish. So why don't we go Rising Chaos? Because, uh, that kind of fits. Alright, so glyphs provide combat bonuses for any attempt. Alright, here we go. So this is totally new type of gameplay here. Uh, weapon glyphs and power weapons and perks. Glyphs provide unique effects. Status glyphs increase Kato's attributes for this attempt. So specifically for this attempt. Each chest has a floating symbol that indicates the type of reward inside. Press L3 to view the symbols overview. All right, so stats glyph increase the core stats. So you got strength, defense. We know all that. We're still up to that stuff. Okay. 
least you're not going in completely hobbled. We still don't have a uh, shield. So is this like room by room, I guess? Oh my god, I forgot we don't have it. Alright, let's keep them at bay. We do a lot of dodging here. Get over here. Why are we still losing health? I didn't even get hit. Can anyone explain why I keep losing health? Like, I don't remember getting hit there. Runic attack, okay. All right, so we get to choose. So we got a light runic attack or a heavy runic attack. Um, I mean, in this sense, it, it makes no sense to go for the heavy runic attack. In a wide arc scattering burn status. I'm guessing because this one allows, it's it's a scatter, whereas this one is, is um, I don't know. Uh, I see damage two, burn two. I see damage two, burn one. This would would uh, equip better. Oh, you can even forfeit two. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take the this one. All right. Is it really just going through room by room, or? All right, so we got Perhaps two different. The last remaining pocket of Asgard. Something unreal about it, though. At least this part seems peaceful. We should have a look around. What's this, though? You truly believe Freya would have aided us in this? Aided oh. us? Talk sense into you? Win-win either way, really? I certainly can't see how there's any benefit to avoid enough. I am not avoiding her. Brother, you've gone to bloody Valhalla to avoid her. At least be honest with yourself. It is not her I'm avoiding. I value Freya. Well, that I believe. And nice to hear you admit, frankly. I think she values you as well, in her way. So there is some story elements to this. Lots same. more dialogue. Is that really what you think? I do not believe she understands what she asks of me. Multiple directions here. We've got all kinds of directions to jump in. So that's not open to us yet. Oh, there's, let's see. You guys know me. I, I search around everything and try to find as much as I can. Especially little things like that. There's one there. Let's see if we can. Okay, so clearly there's something we're gonna unlock that's Not gonna allow us. That way it seems, and no way to pry it open. Same thing with that there. Hey, anytime we get free DLC, man, we should cherish it, because the devs don't have to do that. Okay, we can go through there. I don't know what that is. So my question is, what does this do? Oh, okay. Oh my god. Well, it's not okay. What just happened? Trade carefully, brother. Okay, and I'm- oh my gosh. Well. They seemed like they were really overpowered there. We're back outside. 
You marched into Valhalla without even talking to us first? Nice to see you too, milady. It was a personal matter, and I would not take you from your duties. You breached Valhalla. Consider it worth my time. This entrance is secret. Who told you of this place? Nailed to our door three days ago. Kratos of Sparta, you are hereby invited to a challenge. Face the past to face the future. Master Valhalla, master thyself. And then directions here, no signature. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh, don't let me intrude on your personal matter. Besides, I can't. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. What happens if I return inside? Well, that depends on you. Valhalla draws from the memories of those who enter. In there, you're an open book. Sure, you want to go back in. Hmm. How did you even get past the gate? I forced it open. With his bare hands. <sighs> he forced it open. There's an easier way if you insist on going back in. Come. Sigrun, maybe later we could continue with that one conversation. For once, Mimir. I think you've said enough. Ah. Uh, right then. What? He just wanted to give her... Eh. Oh, I can't. Sorry. And the other matter we discussed? You're still... Thinking, I take it? I am. Um... Is that what this is? Guess I'll let you think then. Ooh. Do I sense a budding romance? Ooh. I always did like them together. I just felt that it shouldn't happen because of, you know, the whole purpose was him spreading the ashes of his wife and stuff and all right Jim. let's send you in properly prepared this time first Valhalla requires you to perform the ritual of selection hold on let's see um let's check out the menus that we have so far so we have our techniques it looks like they're all unlocked for us so we still have all of our skills that we unlocked previously because we had pretty much every skill unlocked everything unlocked We've got goals, mastery of his back, and the codex, of course. Okay, so what am I what am I? Okay, hold on. Um to enter a stage of rage, he's R1, yeah, yeah, yeah. To unleash on enemies. We got Valor to consume a chunk of Spartan Rage and gain a health. Or being hit to negate the incoming attack, gains an additional burst, and wrath to consume a chunk of Spartan Rage and charge down the enemy current weapon. Doing a large amount of damage, killing the enemy heals a small amount. Choose a shield. Oh, I see. Alright. So we gotta pick one. We're gonna, uh, looks like Fury's already selected. Fury, I'm going to stick with Fury for right now because Fury essentially gives us health every time we attack. Um, whereas the Valor would just give you a bunch of health. Um, but then my guess is you're not in Spartan, you're not in Rage mode. Alright, Shield. So we've got the Guardian, Dauntless, Stone, Shattered, Onslaught, and Spartan. A shield fit only for the most hardened warrior. I form the guarding shield with a much smaller parry window, but stronger special counterattacks. Break the guards uh, right before getting hit, and then immediately press R1 or R2 to do a special counterattack. A shield fit for safely advancing on enemies. Um, uh, charge up your shield, blocking an attack, deplete some charge, shield punch. A shield fit for absorbing attacks and striking back. I never really did enjoy the one that absorbs attacks because I just don't like to have enemies that close and attack me while I'm just waiting on them, you know? Um, 
A shield fit for high risk, high reward parity parries. Deals stun to the attack and empower your next shield bash. Time the parry perfectly to significantly improve this effect. I think I used that one a lot. And then the Guardian. That's kind of a mixture of both. I'm going to go with the Guardian for right now. Good. Now, let my sister speak to you of Valhalla's rules and its values. What do you know of this place? The challenge of Valhalla is not merely about overcoming obstacles. It's about the way you overcome them, how you demonstrate mastery of your own powers. We can guide you down a path, but Valhalla will be the judge of your progress. Return to me when you've met a goal, and we will observe the effects. All right, so we've got goals with each one. Mastery seal, spirit, okay, rage, shield, stat. Okay, we're all used to this same thing that was in the regular game. What have you to say? Valhalla seeks to foster wholeness and balance within those who enter. To fully master yourself, you can't rely on only your most familiar tactics. I use the tactics appropriate to the situation. Of course, but varying your approach will demonstrate to Valhalla the full mastery of your abilities, and Valhalla will reward such demonstrations. Be sure to come back and see me as you progress. Step up to the gate when you're ready to proceed. I am ready. Air, Gunnar, with me. After I'm done, I'll meet you back at our place. I'll miss you, my buttercup. <laughs> Any okay. trust feeling this time? No, all is well. Thank you, shield maidens. All right. Let's try this whole thing again. All right, here we go. Round two. <laughs> nice try. All right, shield mastery one of five. Even though I didn't do anything. New attempt, new choices to make. A fresh start. All right, the first weapon glyph chooses influence of your future glyphs. Hold on, the first weapon glyph choose chosen influences the future ones. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, we said we're not okay. So this time it won't let me do the other one. So holding frostbite to increase the defense and stagger. Let's go with frost. Do I like karaoke? Yeah, I've uh, I've I've sung a mini karaoke in my day. I am a weirdo. I pride myself in my weirdness. All right, let's get this on. Let's get it on. Nice try. All right, Amira, we're getting into it. What is at odds between you and Sigrun? Did you anger her? I wouldn't say she's angry with me. Irritated, perhaps. Disappointed, certainly. Ah, but you needn't worry yourself, brother. I won't let it distract from whatever it is we're doing here. All right, here we go. Ooh, we got one with big damage with the heavy rune. So a massive area of effect attack. But look at the recharge time, 325. 
rapid spinning melee that clears out surrounding enemies and deals significant damage. So you got to ask yourself, what is more important? Being able to do three of these in the amount of time one comes up. So I got to go with... I mean, yeah, I like that one, but this one has got that. It's that one where he jumps up and... Oh, that's that one. Okay. I'm going to go with this one. That's right. I like to think that this channel is full of community, full of of weirdos, people that we like to, to do things outside of the norm, just be ourselves and not care about what anyone else says. We just like to have fun here. I don't think there's, there's such a thing as anyone that's normal. We all have our quirks about us that make us individuals and who we are, you know? Okay, my guess is it still can't go that way. Yeah, John, this live stream will automatically be turned so, into this a video. Is no piece of Asgard at all. Just something spun from your memory of it. Fascinating. So it will automatically turn Brother, into a video once the stream is done, and you'll be able to watch it your own leisure. This idea does make quite a bit of sense to me. What better god of war could the realms ask for than the general who won Ragnarok? I won it trying to save lives. With you on board. A whole peacekeeping council could really do some good. This position, this title, I have held it before. You know what happened. She knows what happened. Of course we do. But why should who you used to be matter more than who you are now? Can't you see how far you have come? However far I have come, I have done it running from that life, that title, that throne. I. Okay, so from what I can tell, the only thing we can do is head into that blue door. Everything else is locked to us, so... So we're gonna have to fight Frost, guys. I'll try not to die as quickly this time, now that I can actually have my shield. Oh, it's different. Maybe it sends us to a different location every time. Ah, oh, yes. I used to love just sitting here playing like this, man. Keeping them at bay. I mean, it's a strategy you have to do, especially on Gimme God of War. No one else is coming. Fire left one. There you go. Come back. Man, so far this is good. All right, I don't see. Oh, I see him. All right, let's have a little fun here. And totally wasted it because they were not close enough. <laughs> Once I get used to the combat more. Whoa. Okay. So it looks like it really does send you into rooms. You can consider this a room. And once you take out, I guess, all of the enemies, then the exit opens up. From what I can tell. And I'll do my best. I'm going to search around a little bit. You can see this is just... So essentially just a room for you to mess around in and then grab the prize at the end. I am, I do plan on, I think 2024 is going to be the year where we're going to be doing playthroughs of the original God of War games. 
I've never done God of War 1 on the channel. I've never done God of War 2 on the channel. I did them on Facebook when I was a partner years back, but I never done walkthroughs of them on YouTube. So this might finally be the year in 2024 where we do God of War. So here we go. We got a new runic attack. So either, okay, so we got heavy. We can choose between two heavies. Let's see which one we want. Some of them are better than others. I got to go with the ones that are less seconds, I feel. Okay, I think we're done with this room. I don't see anything else. There is a health thing, but I didn't take any damage. So... Okay. Alright. Let's jump into the next one. Probably gonna get harder and harder as we go in. I suppose this is about how you remember your name, eh? I do agree with you about Freya's counsel. It is a noble idea. It should succeed on her merits. How is that, brother? Freya is known to the realms and native to them, respected by all. An experienced leader. Experienced enough to know that a shared power is best for the people. That she would share power proves she is worthy to wield it. Even so, why make her wield it alone? Without Odin, the realms have a chance to forge a new peace. When conflicts do arise and can't be talked through, a god of war ensures those conflicts have rules and enforces them. They need might and judgment and credibility across the realms. Who else would she pick, brother? I do like this, the story elements we're getting here. With Valhalla directly. I glyphs purchase at a tablet of Andevue. Endeavor will be lost at the end of an attempt. So anything you purchase here will be lost at the end. Acquired runic glyphs can be upgraded to retain your progress in Valhalla and exit to the main menu. So this is where you can suspend your game so that you can continue to play, say, later on. You can upgrade it. You can use fleeting echoes. That's how you upgrade your stuff, just like... For uh, survival, minor health immediately restores a moderate amount of health. Okay, well, there's nothing we really need right now as we're still just kind of starting out. A few different directions to go in. Ah, uh, I'm sure we'll get that at some point. Yeah, because it looks like we can't use that. So, if you look at my thing, I don't have anything now for these, for the blades, because we died that one time. That's all I have currently. Alright, so there's the door. There's also over there, too. Don't know what these are yet. So it looks like mixed in throughout Valhalla, you're going to get story elements with dialogue and things like that. Which I really appreciate, because I was really hoping we'd get more insight into some things. Because there's nothing wrong with more insight into God of War. And that's one, one of the things that makes this series so special to me. But I just love the mythology that it's created. And, um, yeah. So this is like a halfway house. A halfway room, I guess. Okay. Oh, we got dogs. Alright. Alright. Okay. There we go. Oh, wow. Each room is probably going to get uh, more difficult. Not a big fan of, of going up against creatures like that. Alright, here we go. Silver Perk Glyph. 
Spartan Rage. Fury's attacks and exit rage costs are greatly reduced, but healing while in Fury is also reduced. Hitting stunned enemies unleashes sock waves and has a chance to grant a stack of increased strength. I'm going to go with that one. All right. Yep, this is a really small. So you're going to be traveling to all the different realms, it looks like. The 182 number you see on the 228 number you see on the side is the um, the things that we can use to upgrade items when we get to that halfway middle room that we were just in. And this must be how you remember Spartle fight. Freya knows I would not refuse to aid her when in need. I have done and will do my part to fight for peace. Regardless of title, regardless of whether I sit in authority. You know as well as I do there's power in words. Oaths. The people need to know you're committed to them and to yourself. That you'll be there for them, and I know that you will. I understand you've got misgivings, man, but you've put your past behind you. We all see it. You do not know everything that I am. That you were. You've told me of your past, and yes, much of it was horrible, but you've proven over and over again that you're not that man anymore. See, and then this is where you would go and buy it with the fleeting echoes, and that's that number that you see. Currently, we have 246. Um, Sing of uh, vitality. We don't need to upgrade those in ES, but I wouldn't mind getting more vitality. Yeah, that gives me a little bit more health. Yeah, I'm still upset about the whole Sindri storyline. Because, I don't know, I just hope they can somehow make up, man. Like, I understand the need to do what they did and everything, but I just, I don't know. I just wish it would have ended a little bit better. All right, so you see all the things that we're going to have to be able to come back to get at some point. I don't know how you can choose which rooms to go to, though. I don't know. Is it always the same sequence of rooms or will that sequence change? That's why I got questions on. See, there's so many of these little areas to go into. May, my guess is that once these are unlocked, then you'll be able to travel to whatever room that you want. That's why they're all scattered throughout. That is my first guesstimate. This could possibly open up at some point too, clearly. All right. We're ready to head back now. It's these enemies. Looks like they're not on to me yet. I think I can jump down and hit. guys and these guys can be a little I'm gonna try to keep them at bay for the first while just to keep myself familiar with the controls again like I said I really want to focus on that I know that those big guys right. big guy left Big dragon. Oh. Find you, watch out. Okay, 
I, got, I still gotta get used to it. I'm wanting to hit... I'm wanting to hit circle to dodge, so that's something I can get used to. Where is... Oh, dang it. Where'd he go? He went all the way over there. Let's see, can I do it? Yes. Okay. I got one guy over there. See if I can do it here and now. Nope, too soon. Okay. I don't think I can hit him from here, but it'd be awesome if I could. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, we did it. Cool. Now, once, once I get used to the combat again and I've played it enough, you know, it'll be all be more um, offensive instead of defensive. Right now, I'm just really cautious because uh, I just uh, I'm not fully aware of timings and all that good stuff yet until I play a little bit more. Which just takes time. Mastery seal. It's currency. OK. Anything down here? Yep, we got some health here. I think I did take some. Yep. Now, my guess is when you go room to room, you don't replenish your health, so you have to pick up any health that you see along the map, would be my guess. Um, I think that's it. I don't see any other health items. So, all right, let's go. Okay, we're back here again. There. That is the path we seek. A way up and forward. Valhalla's inner reaches. I can feel it. If there's an upside to this Valhalla madness, at least it's good to see you in action again. You're already more your cheery self than I've seen in news. Without Atreus or a fight in front of you, I wonder after your well-being. Combat can be clarifying. Oh, no, and that's still locked. Okay. What is this? Game of War. Kratos. <laughs> I have not forgotten the debt I owe you. Oh. Do you really think you understand this? This still feels reckless. Here they are now. That's odd. We're back outside, but we didn't... you know. Sometimes you reach as far as you're ready to go. Valhalla's decision, or yours? Hmm. Does this mean you're done in there? No. I will discover who invited me. I believe I am close. You're sure it's worth dying for? Oh, I think we're fairly accustomed to dying at this point. Don't be glib, Mimir. Valhalla restores you after honorable death in combat, but beyond that, it makes its own rules. And if you don't play by them... Kratos, the threat of death in there is real. That is... good to know. If by good, you mean wildly disconcerting. I do wish you luck. Truly. I'm really liking the story elements so far. Hey, listen, uh, about that night we had the other night, you know, thanks for, thanks for not telling her, okay? Listen, it was just a one night stand. I'm sorry, I was really drunk. And, um, what we did should never be talked about, okay? You know, Mimir's like, what did you say? <laughs> I don't know who's going to be a high stakes quarterback this year. It's going to be interesting. We shall see. We got another little. Let's see. Do these tasks, return here for rewards. Fair enough. 
I visit the labor marker to accept new labors and redeem completed ones for rewards. The marker offers tasks that are repeatable and cycled at random, so make sure you visit often. New labors. All right. Pots broken. So obviously, yeah, this seems like this could go on. This could be an in, in, infinite gameplay, if you know what I mean. Like, there's always something more to do. The DLC is not on the map. It is literally its own uh, thing at the very beginning of the game. So as soon as you load up and you have new game, new game plus options, uh, there's a section called Valhalla. All right, discover and unlock various armor and weapon attachments. This is cosmetic only and does not have any effect on gameplay. Okay. So does this mean we can actually put in... Um, what I originally have, probably. No, no, there's some ones we don't have found in the chest within Valhalla. Okay, so these are special ones. All right, uh, what do I want to look like? Now, notice there are different levels. So you can do, there's the first level. There's the third. There's only two for that one. Got three different colors. I really don't like that. I'd say if I have to choose one, let's go with... Let's go with that one. I really do like that one. Just might as well make it a... Make it a full set, right? Make it match. That's the regular Leviathan. We have the wooded. Let's see here. Let's go with... Ooh, yeah. Let's go with that one. Our blades. Yeah, let's go with that one. Three flames. Yeah, I think we made the right choice here. And our spear. There we go. Yeah. Trying to give ourselves like a fiery appearance here. And last but not least, shield. Let's go with that. No, we can't. Um, we'll go with that one. Okay. Bear witness to your journey here, Kratos. How can you resist investing in yourself? Ooh, upgrades unlocked here are permanent. Nice. Okay, so health and rage permanently increase Kratos' maximum health. And you need mastery seals in order to do it. Um, obviously health is very, very important. There's also stats so we can permanently, permanently in, in, okay. So we got a lot to do here. So first off, we're going to get our health up. A durable improvement. This next one's 25, 40. So we actually have enough to get to level three. How many upgrades are there? There's a total of nine. You need divine triumph. So that's, that's something we're going to have to pick up, too. Um, all right, stats. Let's get our strength up, of course. Uh, 
Um, permanently increase Kratos' defense. Probably another good idea. Vitality. Permanently increase Kratos' vitality stat. So it brings our HP to 116. Cooldown. Luck. Really, the things I want to focus on are these four. Um... Defense. Vitality. Remember, this is all permanent. So we'll leave that for now. Here we go, see? Ooh, okay, so selecting the Shimmering Spartan Rage grants additional rewards for the next attempt. Which is Wrath. Increased Mastery Seals gain on this attempt. Let's do it. So these are risk reward things, obviously. Selecting the shimmering shield gains additional, so same thing. So this one says do the shattered star seal. And which one is this one? So double tap L1 to shield punch and blow enemies backwards, increasing in power when fully charged. Hold L1 to charge up your shield, blocking an attack depletes some of the charge. Shield punch right before an attack hits you to absorb it and gain a burst of charge. Well, um, I think we'll give it a shot. I mean, why not? Let's try it. Now, what if it's the same enemies or if it's going to do different enemies? Nope, different enemies. All right. Wait. I have never faced these enemies before. These are these are most definitely different enemies. All right, here we go. So we got we can do another one of these. Drastically increase the power of the Whirling Storm and Evasive Storms. Killing enemies with a Flame Whiplash. Mashing uh, attacks cause a Burn Shockwave. Let's go with that one. Much chance to actually regain health either. Alright, so we've got a 250 and a 1, Flames of Anguish. What's that look like? It's mostly centered around a 1 enemy. There we go. Yeah, that one I definitely want. That's an area effect. Oh, a new gate's Look, open. Look, brother, the fog's lifted. Valhalla's becoming more open to you, perhaps. So much to see in the distance there. You can see how all the little realm spaces connect to the higher plane. And those statues are certainly imposing. I recognize them. They are judges of the underworld. From my homeland. Ah, well, 
You sound thrilled to see them again. Souls they deemed righteous were granted entrance to the Elysian Fields. Those deemed wicked were cast into Tartarus. Ah, yes, for the souls of the damned were tortured. Why has your mind manifested them here, I wonder? Okay, that's still blocked. Oh, this one's open now. Alright. All those are still closed. Still closed. Okay. Alright, so what do we got? We can do minor health burst. Combo finishers have a high luck chance to increase his strength. We don't have enough though. And we can, nope, don't have enough. All right, no, we're good. All right. I forgot there's also that there. I need to start using those. Thanks for 100 likes already, everyone. Um, no, I have not finished Red Dead Redemption 2. I was thinking about continuing that. Let me know if you guys would like to see me continue the Red Dead Redemption 2 Let's Play that we had going on. Let me know. I actually kind of want to get back into that. All right, so we've got Spartan Rage, Wrath's Activation, Shockwave, Consume, Status Effect on nearby enemies. Um, moderate Luck, Chance to Stagger and Inflict Stun Damage to nearby enemies when damage is taken. Uh, let's go with this one. Hmm. Looks like you have a room, then you have a safe room. Ah, Midgard in Memoriam. Ah, I'm starting to see there's no fixed order to the realms we'll visit here. Brother, whose voice was that we heard when Valhalla sent us back from the throne? You heard it also. Aye. Said he owes you a debt, was it? Someone who might lend us a hand, perhaps? Unlikely. He did our peace, and we did not part on good terms. And by that you mean... yes, I see. No shortage of bitter old ghosts in these parts. These parts being your memory, of course. Currently, I'm just kind of looking around for any pots to break and stuff. I think I see some down there. So this just takes us back home, right? I'm guessing that's what that does. That's what it did last time, right? That's what actually took us home. No, it didn't take us home. Where did it take us? I don't remember. Yeah, like I said, I've been wanting to do some Red Dead Redemption 2 stuff again. Alright, 
what can we get this time? Alright, now we got level two of this. I hope so, John. Good. Kratos is a dick to people who just want to sleep. All right, here we go. Um, blessing of strength, blessing of honor. So we get strength, runic, and I gotta go with. I gotta go with uh, this one. A little bit of everything. Now I'm kind of hoping that we're gonna see some like boss fights. Um, which I'm sure we will. Some rooms might just have like a boss. I think that was a boss room right there. The, the first guy we took out seemed to be much, much more... Brother, that throne we saw, did you recognize it? Was it familiar? It was mine. The throne I took from Ares. It is a throne of monsters. Ah, the anxiety of power made manifest. It's a game of thrones. A you're no doubt meant to consider. It is a symbol I reject. That might not quite close the book on matters. A symbol can't be slain, destroyed, or ignored. The best measure is often to reclaim it. Redefine it. Remind us it's not the throne, but the god who sits in it. Huh. Yeah, and all that stuff is still closed. We've seen this room before. Uh, well, we probably don't have anything, I don't think. Yeah. Don't have enough. Get a minor health burst for 50. But we don't really... I wouldn't waste it on that. I don't think it's worth it. Here we go. Okay. See, it's almost good to just sit here and wait, right? Because look at our heavy attack is still gaining. So we're not going to have a heavy attack for a pretty long while. What my guess is, is it actually moving up now? Or does it only move up when you're in combat? You see how it doesn't seem like it's moving up at all.
All right, get ready for this guy. So we got Oh, oh damn. Nice. Okay. Oh. All right. Gotta be a little smarter here. Oh, that was a double hit. Oh, he still got me. Alright, I'm gonna use it. Where is this thing at? There he is. Okay. That was our first real challenge so far. Alright, so that one we can't. Alright. Like I said, it's going to take me a little time to get used to playing this again. I mean, it's been a long time and, and the combat in God of War is easy to get into, but very tough to master. It's like really good. So, and I did lose some health there and you can see I don't got any other, it don't give you a lot of health throughout here. All right, so we can go for a light runic attack now. Let's see what the first one is. No, I never really used that one in the game. I did use that one a lot. That was like my big one that I used. So let's go with, uh, there's only a 25% chance or 25 second difference. Okay. So what do you guys think of the DLC so far? Two fights in a row now. Oh. oh no, we got these guys. Behind you, look out! Oh shit. No, he went inside. Oh, 
Defeating Valhalla's Chosen will unlock the Ascending Sands. I still don't... Okay, what do the Ascending Sands do again? There's still a lot I have to learn here. Alright. So, Weapon Glyphs. Low luck chance on any blade hit to gain an increased strength in Runic. Heavy runic attack, honor the fallen. Okay, that's... All right. I'm starting to get back into the combat a little bit. Pass should be unlocked now, shall we? <clears throat> All right. Um, ooh, I got pretty low health. Let's see here. Let's go. Yeah. All right. like it to find that is how we earn our way forward oh my god this is so good all right rage restored blessing of strength immediately restore a fair amount of kratos's rage i don't really really feel like i need that right now um so let's go blessing of strength These ones are permanent, right? The ones that have the Kratos. Oh, it's the Master Seal, yeah. Congratulations, old friend. You really are going places in Valhalla. 
Where is Mumir? Is that really all you have to say to me? Mm. After all this time? Can't muster up so much as hello for one of your most auspicious victims? Hello, Helios. Where is Mumir? How should I know? Why don't we go look for him? Hmm. Oh, this is so cool! Man, if you're, if you're a huge fan of the original series, this is bringing back so many good times, man. Valhalla has manifested a sun god from my homeland. I never told you of Helios, an Olympian who crossed my path in my hunt for revenge. I needed his power and gained it by separating him from his head. <laughs> I am not proud of what I did, which Valhalla is using as a tool to provoke me. He is quite unpleasant, and I am glad you will never have to meet him. And then Fisk, what sort of mortal be, uh, be in life to be given such power and authority in Valhalla? To wield a scythe and defend territory with such vigor, I imagine this Fisk, a farmer who took up arms against some threat and proved adept at slaughter. And for his valor, he is awarded an afterlife of more slaughter. I wonder whether he even had a choice. That was not Mimir, that was um, Helios, for those of you that are not understanding. Helios was someone that we faced off in, in God of War Thru... No, th two. What? No, 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 no. Was it three or two? I can't remember. I think it was. I think it was. Th I can't remember if it was three or two, honestly. God of War three. Okay. Ooh, and Muspelheim. Ooh. So, what's new with you, Kratos? Murdered any good pantheons lately? Devastated any populations with the cataclysmic consequences of your actions? Turned on any once trusted ally? You simply must bring me up to speed on your latest saga of blood vengeance. I am that no longer. You don't mean to say you've gone soft. Never believe it. Once a Spartan, always a Spartan. No, there's no fooling me, Kratos. You know what they say. You can't hide in the shadows from a sun god. At least, that's what they should say. Yeah, I'm good. I do like these little story elements we're getting. I didn't think there was going to be any story in this. But clearly there is. I do like that. Yeah, this is actually refreshing me to want to go back and play all of the God of War games. I'm finally putting them on YouTube, you know? I did God of War 3 a long time ago, back in 2010. And I've done Facebook, like I said, Let's Plays of all the God of War games. But I, I want to do walkthroughs for Ascension. I think what Ascension would probably be what we, we would start out with, since Ascension is technically the earliest in the God of War um, timeline. But then again, it's like you need to play one, two, and three to fully understand and appreciate Ascension even more. So it's like tough to decide which one I should play first. I'll probably do a poll and ask all of you guys. God of War is just, this is my favorite series of all time. Like, I, I just, there's, there's nothing I can say that will take that away. Like... God of War Ragnarok is my number one favorite game of all time, and I already mentioned that before. It's one of the only games that I have actually platinumed. 
That is because my ADHD just doesn't allow me to play games that much. But God of War was a game that we did last year in 2022. I think it was 2022. Um, and we played the entire thing. We platinum the whole thing. For me, that is a huge deal. All right. Before God of War, Ragnarok, God of War 2018 was my favorite. And then before that, GoldenEye was my favorite. So I think I've changed a little bit in what I like. And God of War was just one of those games that really just did it for me. Like, I love the gameplay. I love the parry system. Um, I love getting to know the boss fights, dying, repeating on all of the Valkyries and all that stuff. And uh, I've never, I've actually never played Chains of Olympus or Ghost of Sparta. I've played them like maybe 10, 15 minutes, but I've never done, never finished them whatsoever. So those would be games I'd love to do as well. Just like a, have a whole God of War, you know, month. <laughs> Play nothing but God of War. Look at that, man. Man, Sony Monica, they're so good. I just really hope they continue this series. I really do. Please don't give up on God of War. People still love this series and still want to see Kratos go on and, and tackle another, you know, realm. Hey, Deacon. Say, the decor is looking a little more familiar, isn't it? A mighty chain. Auspicious sign. You've always had such luck with chains. This is all going to work out just great for you. I can feel it. <laughs> I like that voice actor. He's got a he's got just enough sense of sarcasm and wit and an assholery. I do like how they're mixing a lot of story in with this. Yeah, it's a it's a rinse and repeat. You go through room after room, but we're getting some significant story here. So maybe the end will lead us into the next God of War series. That would be cool. Oh, there it is. Home sweet home. Looks like that's another possibility of something here. Grab all this. Looks like we're going to be able to go inside at some point. There is also... That's where we started. There's this little way back here. That's going to be another way eventually that'll be unlocked. And then another one is up there. This room must really take you back. Wasn't this the Chamber of Sacrifice? Where you let an Athenian soldier burn to a crisp just so you could get past the room? Oh, those madcap early days. How you must miss them. Oh, we, oh, oh, did they recreate certain rooms that we had in the original games? That would be really cool. It looks like they have. Remember this section in God of War 1, right? Where you had to push the cage with the guy in it. Uh, it was after you got done with the... Um, I want to say it was after you got done with the sand part, right? And then you were heading into... Yeah, I think I think so. Like, it has been, it has been a minute since I've played um, 
God of War 1, so trying to remember everything. Kratos, you mean to sacrifice me again? I figured so. This is going to be one of those things where you got to face off against a lot of these guys. Oh, I knew I didn't get out of there in time. Oh, whoa. Watch out. All right. No, 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 I was trying to grab it. There we go. Oh, good. You're making eye contact as you push me towards my demise. What a special little personal touch. Really lets me know where I stand. Especially after such a long agonized deliberation over what to do. Oh, how reluctant you'll tell people you were to sacrifice me to the flames. Could you imagine if they made a God of War 1 remake? Guys. That would be awesome. I hate to disappoint you, you blithering idiot. But you do remember I'm a sun god, right? You think I'm afraid of a little fun? Don't threaten me with a good time, Kratos. Maybe I'll be infused with power and achieve my final form. Maybe I'll explode and take you with me. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see. I could give you a hint, but I just feel like you wouldn't appreciate it. I think we all recognize that sword. <laughs> Time for another push. Let's go. Okay, seriously, Kratos, get me out of this cage. It's not funny anymore. I can't believe you need to roast me on a whim, on a presumption that it's what Valhalla wants from you. Have you ever considered that maybe your instincts are just random thoughts that pop into your head, no more likely to be true than the next? Hmm? Maybe consider that! Quickly! You're really just going to incinerate me and see what happens? I swear, you haven't changed one solitary... Brother? What? 
What am I doing in here? Over here. Over here. What's that? No. No! Don't you even dare. Get out of here. What is this? Help me! I'm trying! Please tell me that wasn't real. Okay, good. Do not panic. We will simply return to the gate. I don't think so. I think you've broken how Valhalla works. Oh, I think this is it, brother. Let's get you out of here. Sigrun. Well, you're fun then. I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> Oh, Kari, Holy crap, this is better than I even thought it was going to be. If you have a membership, you have to keep paying to keep the membership safe. Or else you'll lose it every month. Oh no, you poor thing, look at you. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, heal, dummy. You and Kratos would not. But you're safe now. Sigrun, I'm sorry. I've been so foolish, I... Later, love. <clears throat> I need a moment. As I will be forever in yours. <clears throat> Man, this feels My like lady. a fully Stop. fledged game. You've seen me worse. I'm not sure about that, boss. Hush. It's nothing air can't heal. <coughs> this could take some time. Go on, Kratos. Get back in there. And do what you need to do. Man, is this good. Well, that was altogether bloody terrifying. One moment I'm in a forest, the next I'm in a cage full of fire. You changed into Helios and back again. It was unpredictable. I'll say. I'm truly not sure if we'd gone too far, or if we've come too far to stop. We are not stopping. I must face this. I know, brother. We did more things and more things to do. Check. All right, new laborers, chests open, zero of 20. Ring, rising chaos used, so we need to use that more. Fury of Sparta, shield slam. Blades of chaos. Okay. And to think this is free, yeah. We'll, we'll keep what we have, I think. Yeah. Oh, thanks, homie. Yeah, we don't, uh, I don't try to Aha! ruin... Another of those spots for bargaining with Valhalla. Yeah, one of the biggest things about this channel is we don't try to ruin the story. 
Uh, we story is huge on this channel. So every game that we play, I never talk over cutscenes because I feel you're here not only maybe to see me because you'd like the community, but also because you want to learn about the game. And if I talk over the game, well, then that just defeats that whole purpose. So we try to keep it fun here, but at the same time, only talk during gameplay and then try to let the story shine. Bargain away, brother. Well, Hala expects it. All right. You have very low chance of finding light runic attacks already upgraded to level two. Oh, okay. Let's see. Increase the number of glyphs sold by tablets and realms. Resources. Divine triumph. We need a chaos chest, a leviathan chest, and a drop near chest. Um, echoes. Enter Valhalla with a hundred fleeting echoes. Mastery seal. So I think that's a good one to start with. This automatically gives us bleeding echoes when we start to help us with upgrading. Um, okay, let's see here. Uh, critical health regen. When Kratos exits combat with critically low health, he regenerates up to 10% full, full, full. I'm very excited for GTA 6, man. I cannot wait. Health looter. Kratos regenerates super centers health when looting legendary chests and rifts. I think that's something we definitely want. Probably going to need it. And the big one right here, Resurrection Stone. Start each attempt with one Resurrection Stone. Yes, how would you not want this? You need four with two. Okay, cool. So, permanently increase. I can permanently increase health to 126. Or I can continue to get my strength up. I really feel like our strength has been okay. That's going to take 30. What about our defense? Probably could use... Yeah. I got to. You got to go with what's very, what's important. All right, last but not least, let's do some stats. Maybe cooldown. Yeah, need the cooldown because we want to be able to use our runics. And what still gives us enough to do a runic or vitality so all right i think we're good here we go Ooh, this is different this time wrath all right so we have a new one legacy a memory of your past made manifest mm. a dangerous memory Press L3 and R3 to wield the Blade of Olympus. Restores a small amount of rage by parrying attacks with L1. Exit the stage early by using the command again. Bonus increases invoke a powerful weapon. So you know we're going to go with that. Defeat your opponent in the Proving Grounds with each Spartan Rage, one of four. Rage Mastery 2, Legacy, okay. that change all right Ooh, this time the dauntless one I I do I don't mind the dauntless 
the more I think the more it gets hit. Um, yeah, I don't mind the Dauntless. We'll do the Dauntless this time. I want to do what they want me to do because then it's going to increase my powers. Drastically increase the power of the axe throw. That's a good one. Uh, I got to go with the axe throw because we're going to use that like constantly. And if we can get more power out of that, I think that would be better. Big fan of these guys. Yeah, because they explode. You gotta watch out for those guys. All right. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be playing the new Avatar game. I was not able to get it from Ubisoft, and I just can't see myself spending seventy dollars on that game unless. It was donated to me. That would be really the only way that I would play it. If it was donated, yes, I would play it. But I got to be smart with what I spend my money on to make sure that I bring good content to you guys. Because I'm afraid that if I were to spend my money on Avatar, that not a lot of people would want to watch. And so therefore I would be losing money in that instance. And I want to make sure we don't do that. But if someone was to donate that for because you want to see the game... And then maybe it ends up being a pretty cool game. You know, I've heard good things about the game too. So, but I just feel like, you know, putting me putting $70 personally, when I have to worry about bills and stuff like that, um, you know, I have to be smart. All right. So we have, this is for our ax. Okay. So there's that one. Never was really a fan of that one. Oh, was definitely not a fan of that one though. So I don't like either of these, honestly. Um, this one stuns multiple enemies, so I'm going to go with Hell's Touch. Alright. <clears throat> Rain Specialist. Increase the damage of all Kurdos range attacks and abilities. Does that mean my, um, my axe that I throw? Could be 30% better. Or the spear. Hmm. High luck chance to grant a rage burst when parrying. Yeah, John. I mean, I hope we see some other enemies from past games too. We're going to go with the range specialist because we. my plan is to use the axe on this one a lot and go with um, distance and see how that works out for us. Memory of Vanaheim now. Brother, I beg you not to remember the exploding plants. What did you say about a forest? You remember being elsewhere when Helios took your place? Aye. Guess I didn't mention that while we were plummeting, but yes, I was in a forest, much like that of my youth. Back on my old body, too. It was a bit dreamlike, to be honest. Hmm. Do you wish to return there? I can't say I don't. I'm concerned, but I'm more than curious. Guess my memories are fair game in here as well. Don't suppose they'll just stick to the pleasant ones, will they? Unlikely. Again, I'm so confused about this. I thought we could only enter that. Does that bring us back to the main area, maybe? Mm. 
I did the demo of Daymare, but um, I didn't think uh, enough people would watch it to get the game, and I didn't wasn't able to get it from the developers. So indicate that what lies ahead can help with can help inform choices. Open the menu, then press L three to brew the symbols overview. Hmm. Alright, see, there's a symbol there, but there's also one up here. Or not up here, over there. So we have two different directions we can go now. Alright, later, Shadow. Have a good one, bud. We really don't have a lot as of yet. Uh, there's nothing we can do with those upgrade. We could do Hell's Touch, but I don't really like Hell's Touch. To be honest. I don't really feel like I want to waste it on that. So there's two different ones that we can go. There's that one and there's this one. Now, what did it say in order to... Um, Why is there a thing for destroy? You can destroy it? I'm so confused on I don't know which direction to go in honestly. There's a star. And there's that one. Where, where does it? Let's Okay, I see it. Runic attack. Fleeting echoes. Okay, so if I go in the one that's like the circle one, I'll get fleeting echoes. If I go into the other one, I'll get a runic attack. Let's go for the fleeting echoes. Here we got frost guys. Oh yeah, big heavy damage. Look at that. See if I can make it. Think about right here. Dude, that's nice. And the thing is, I can't. Yeah, I can't damage him.
Love the gameplay. Absolutely. Just some of the best gameplay ever in a video game. It's just, it's so good. I did hear about the day before, you know, it was never a game I was going to play, but um, I did hear that they released it and literally just a few days later said, well, they're bankrupt and they have to cancel the game. Now you can no longer purchase the game on Steam and they won't be supporting it anymore. And it just, I mean, it's crazy. It's like, how do developers even think about this? They should have known at some point that this wasn't going to work. So it makes you think that it was just a big con. But you would think, how can anyone be that stupid to think that you're going to be able to make money from this pawn? But yeah, just it's one of those things that just makes you question everything. Hey, Elizabeth, how you doing? Everybody, the sponsor for uh, today's video is here in the chat. Say hello. Remember, we did our little sponsorship thing earlier on in the live stream. Great author, especially if you love fantasy. Um, definitely recommend checking her out on Amazon. War Prize is the name of her book. Awesome. Great supporter of the channel. Yeah, we're having a blast playing this so far. It's real, been really, really fun. It exacts at all, but it might be worth it. All right, here we go. So mastery requires sacrifice. So I will lose rage to get a weapon glyph. It's 40 rage, it costs 40 health. Ooh. A gold perk. Let's do it. All right. Increase immunity during immunity duration while evading and last second evades fire a volley of butt frost. Um, blocks and parries grant a buff of increased strength and defense with each stack. Yeah, definitely going with that one. And I can definitely do the 40 rage. It's fine. Alright, when wielding the axe, stun grabbing an enemy, R3, provides a blessing of cooldown. When the permafrost skill gauge is fully charged, axe hits restore health, but incoming damage is increased. Let's go with that one. We're back here. See. Gotta go and grab this stuff because they give you leading echoes, which is very, very important. Well, that's still locked. Yeah, man, I looked at, I remember watching the gameplay for the game way, way back in the day, and I couldn't believe my eyes seeing the new gameplay of the actual game it's like it's such a it was such a didn't even look the same everything was different and it's just it was horrible oh there's a second one here so Boost this time around, maybe. All right, so I can actually use this little boost to get my health back up to max. Look at that. Boom.
Increase stun dealt to airborne enemies. I just don't like Hell's Touch enough. Uh, which one was this one? That was a perk. Yeah, I like the perks. But I also like rune attacks, and I would rather have a better rune attack. Actually, that it's not the rune attack. Which one is that one again? That one is... Rune, yeah, that's rune. Let's go rune. Alright, we're back at this one again. Oh, it's these guys. These are my... I hate these guys with a passion. Everything we do is going to be throwing because it's... It's like a get out of jail free card when you have the stun. That means there's another enemy somewhere, right? Dude, I hate, I hate the Toads so much. That's like my f least favorite enemy in this entire game. Oh, I could have just used that. Instead of buying it, but that's alright. Okay, heavy runic attack. We got one with frost, but look at the amount of time. Now, definitely going to go with this one. I know it's 100 seconds longer. There we go. Now, look, we have two. Oh, what, what happened? We lose them every round. So even if you don't die and you go into the next one, you don't have your previous ones. I thought that. You kept everything you had until you died. That's not the case. Why don't we talk about that image of you in the shrine we keep seeing? If Valhalla keeps pulling it out of your head, it must have some significance to you. Could it be that the idea of being loved and respected is a fair might better than the alternative? Now hear me out, and it's not as though I'm the smartest man alive or anything, but don't you think joining Freya's council could put you in a position to walk that path? To earn that path? Well, it would be a poor reason to accept. Ambition is poison. Yeah, the time's been going by really fast. All right, what do we want to do here, guys? 
so we have got two of them. We've got this one. Which one is that one? Weapon glyph. No, wait, right? It's got two snakes coming out the side. Yep, weapon glyph. The only way back up is here. That's right, when you have fun. And then this one is the star one. Runic. Uh, let's go weapon this time. We haven't done weapon. Right? Decapitation. Remember, I'm only doing that specific move because it has a 30, 40% because it adds 10% too. So 40% extra damage on throwing attacks, which is why I'm using um, that specific uh, thing. Otherwise, I would use it, but I wouldn't use it to probably that extent when they're that close to me. You know, I wouldn't purposely try to get away. Killing enemies with Frost Awaken. Attack causes a Frost Shockwave and re-Frost Awaken the Axe. Okay. Activating Glacier Permafrost, L1 and Triangle, while Permafrost is full, triggers a Realm Shift. I'm going to go with that one. I do like the Realm Shifts, but they, it needs to be with, with context. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, does this mean boss fight? Yeah, I think it means boss fight because I don't see that thing. I think we're going to have a boss fight up here. Thank you, Lean. Sorry, I didn't see your message here. Sometimes I get distracted when playing don't see every message so if you have a question for me or anything like that you know make sure you put my name in it that way um it, it notifies me on the screen all right let's go kratos wife ray in the dlc i don't you know it's possible actually that's a that's a good possibility And 
and Valhalla keeps us warm. Okay, we did it. Time for the next story beat. All right, we got a blessing of honor, strength, runic, and that. And we also have successful axe ranged attacks now generate charge of the permafrost skill with successful pre precision throws generating even more. That's not as important as, as completely upping our strength and everything. Excellent. The way should be clear. Up and onward. Immediate restores a fair amount of health. He, he would need that, but I don't think I need it right now because we're just literally finishing. So I would rather go with Blessing of Fortune. Relics in Valhalla have extremely short cooldowns, but limited charges. Ooh, okay. So activate a relic with L1 in circle. All right. So they only have specific amount of charges. Recharge them at a tablet of endeavor. All right. Throw three Bitfrost chakrams that swerve into enemies. Push enemies back with force and grant an aura of protection. I'm going to go with, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Thanks for subscribing, uh, Jeremy. Remember, guys, this is what we do for a living. So if you want to support the channel, you can do so by subscribing, obviously, leaving a like, commenting more. Um, use the links in the description. You can donate. Uh, that keeps pretty much food on the table and whatnot because everything that we make into this channel goes directly into just paying the bills so that we can continue to do what we love to do. Times are tough for everyone right now, especially for this channel. Um, so if you do want to support the channel and you have the means to do that, then by all means become a member, become a Patreon. Those are the best ways. Use the link in the description if you do want to leave a tip um, to show your appreciation and all that good stuff. Oh, I see now. We must keep the primordial realms up here on the top shelf. Getting back to that image of you on the shrine. I'll grant you ambition can be a poisonous motive, but your ambitions are only to help people, not for your own glory, right? Make the world a better, safer place. I think maybe that image of you is symbolic of your desire to walk a righteous path. Allah's little signpost. You are sure accepting Freya's offer is the right thing for me, or for the realms? I think we are here to make sure about that. Brock, thank you the for the gifted memberships, bud. 
Big shout out to Brock. Attunes the Le Leviathan Axe to the memories of Numbling, Frost, and Nilfheim, increasing its base damage. Well then, yeah. Minus crest with crest from the other to obtain a divine crest can be run at the shore. Really, no, one hundred percent sure what that does yet, but all right. Tell they put a lot of thought into this DLC. I love this little effect. It's so cool. Hello, uh, Zafrula. Hopefully I said that right. Welcome all the way from Malaysia. Glad to have you here. Ah, we're up by those statues now. Judges, did you say? Perhaps the higher planes of Valhalla correspond to the deepest reaches of your memory. So which old level are we going to uh, reincarnate this time? Hello, me again! If I must carry you, make yourself useful. Say what you see in battle. Aye aye, asshole. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my god, that was... That, okay, that was hilarious. <laughs> I I asshole. <laughs> oh, this game. It's so good. Just want to go and grab these first. Okay. Yes, yes. Pick something and let's go. Mm, arcane refresh. Melee attacks have a low luck chance to restore some cooldown. Nah. Uh, relic recharge. No, nope, we don't have enough. Okay. Ooh, cost 250. We don't have enough. Cost 500 you would need to have at this time? You get a relic. Must be, a, hopefully, it would be a really good relic, but we don't have enough. And I don't think there's a way you can purchase. I wish I wouldn't have spent any money on 
Oh, look, it's one of those. It's the rift. Because then I would have, I would have spent it here instead. <laughs> they locked you out. Guess we better poke around the old neighborhood. See what sorts of acquaintances are looking to reconnect. Yep, it's on the main menu. That's how you restart it. Ooh, timed meter challenge. Enemy difficulty will increase as each lever level of the timer elapses. <laughs> Excuse me. The timer will halt upon returning to the ascending sands. Okay, we need... Oh, I gotta hurry up. A moderate challenge? <laughs> more challenge, more loot! <laughs> Ruthless is ever, Kratos! <laughs> Behind you, idiot! You took out Valhalla's target, in case you didn't notice in your killing frenzy. After returning from rage, get a brief buff to strength defense. Oh, hell yeah. in here nothing oh crap I'm not gonna be able to do it uh, silver holding out one for several seconds would trigger a high stun explosion on the next successful block or double tap We'll give it a shot. dead. That took almost everything. Alright, uh... Rest of a thousand... No more health. Well, I do have a resurrection stone, guys, so... Not, I'm not fully dead just yet. Well, this one looks easy. 
If easy is what you are. Hala? Seems worthless, but all right. Oh, oh shit! Warriors. I don't even know. I didn't even look. I could hit me. Last second dodges now charge permafrost simulation those from gauges for luck. Decisions, decisions. I got 753. I might have enough now. Alright, so the question is what I want. 250... We already did the three. I'm going to go ahead and get out because I don't want to risk death right now. It's 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 increasing the story for sure. Like we're getting a lot of story stuff in here. I'm very surprised. I thought it was just going to be a um, kind of a pit fighter. It's so much more than that so far. This is DLC completely worth it, guys. It's more than just a pit fighter. Lots of story elements. Um, Heading back to the cage, are especially we? with the past games. I guess a chance. Well, now it's a party. On your left! Whoa, a new type of enemy. Oh, and they... They are... It, Time, Kratos. Wait, no, don't tell me. 
The suspense is honestly the only thing keeping me awake back here. From that one. Oh no. Here's a radical thought for you. Maybe it only counts as a sacrifice. Okay, good. If you give up someone you value. I think we all know that's not me. Why are you here? Oh yeah. Cyclops. You'll never guess their weak spot. <laughs> Cyclops, yeah, right? They're really harking back Here to the original are. God of War days. Let's see what brilliant move you've thought of. Make a sacrifice. Um, Kratos? <laughs> Surely you're not supposed to. He's gonna sacrifice himself. You know signed it but it was important you come here for your own reasons then you're not an illusion here in the flesh old friend what do you want i know what you're wrestling with spartan i understand it better than you realize the shame the doubt. The question I could find no answer for until I came here. Lifetimes ago. Stepped through that door. What is in there? Oh. I'm not here to spoil that for you. Only to help you prepare. Why? Because I can. Because for us, fighting occupies the body while our minds work out the rest. Because you're not ready. Yet. Show me. Oh. 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 
sorry. What? Well, the lack of Olympian right power. Your mastery of rage is commendable. Defend yourself. Yeesh. Embrace the cycle. Whoa. No. Don't tell me I gotta go through all of that again. Oh no. I mean that's technically my first death. Outside of the the, the one you're supposed to die. It's quite a new power Valhalla's conjured for you. That sword isn't something full of terrible memories, I hope. What do you think? In the face of change, those who adapt triumph. While the rigid Dang man. I tried I tried to do too much, I think. One for the now these would make a real and lasting difference. Oh, our strength, our defense, everything just went away. Man, we were going so good, too. Your attempts are improving. You're making your way deeper into Valhalla. Keep at it. Yeah, it's one of those, uh, when you die, you start over. Sigrun. How fares your journey? We have uncovered our host. It is Tyr. Tyr, you say? Aye, and no projection either. I never knew his connection to Valhalla was so strong. But then, he goes back further than I do. Fascinating. You really do have to start completely over. Which means you'll quickly see here, it's no longer as strong as it used to be. See? Before, that would take them out in like two hits. Because we had that 40% advantage. All right, let's try this new this new shield. Uh, let's see. Scorching burns increase the damage that the blades burn status inflicts on enemies. We're gonna go. We're gonna go with blades this time. We're gonna blade it up. Well, we we uncovered tier in our original playthrough, so like we rescued the real tier. So I'm I'm not surprised that he's here. For those of you that didn't actually hundred percent the game, then you most likely didn't know that tier. Uh, you found Tyr at the very, very end after the main story. So you really had to have paid attention and, and finished a lot of it. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. That's this one's only 64 seconds. No.
We'll go with that one. these guys. things can be really annoying. We gotta be smart when we get to tier, though. Kind of keep him at bay, see what types of moves that he has in order to be able to learn him. Now, here's my question. Can I enter that portal? wish to speak about Sigrun. She was able to receive you mere days ago. What has changed? Oh, don't pretend to be interested in my romantic life, brother. I am interested, and you are evading the question. No, I see it's locked. What happened? Well, after you dropped me off at a longhouse the other night, Sigrun made a cowberry and hazelnut pudding. Of course, I don't eat anymore, so slightly awkward, but a lovely thought. And? Pretty much it, really. Hmm. There is more to this. Yes, it won't let me enter. So, um, if you do change your region, yes. If you put your region as, like, say, New Zealand or something, it will change. Correct. It will change the prices of things you see. Keeps hitting me. Oh, gotta be super quick on that. Stayed up much too late. I told her story. She told me secrets. She put spirits to my lips, even though I can't get drunk. Then she invited me to watch her fall asleep. Hmm. And the next morning? The next morning, we took a boat along the Lake of Nine. It was divine, brother. The lake was sun dappled, and the air was crisp and perfect. You could smell the thaw. When did you speak? You know me too well, brother. You were on the way when I was talk later. Oh, 
Full health, but I don't have I don't have full rage. All right, while charging your flame with the blades, incoming projectiles attacks. Ooh, okay. Yeah. 
Oh, we're going to go into this tier fight with no health. <laughs> I was not expecting that to be that crazy. Okay, so drastically use the powers of the Russian chaos and chaos slams. We're going to have to increase our health. Right then. Time to ascend to the next area if you're ready. We've come this far. Anything we need this moment. Okay, normally there's a chest here, but I don't see the chest this time. Oh shit, we're right back into it. Oh, oh, crap, no. oh no, I was not prepared for this. For this. I don't know how to face this guy. He's just, he's too, he's too good for me. At, at my current state, unless I just do this. If we, if we can get into this match here, then we just go back and forth. I can do this. We helped. All right, I saw what I have to do. You got me. I know military brother. Back to it. Damn. 
I mean, I had the, I had the, I knew what I needed to do in order to defeat him, but he, he caught me at just a bad time. I'm sorry, brother. That dobber was especially challenging. Keep on. That one was. That one was crazy. Fresh rewards with a side of new opportunities. Mm. You're back here, and yet you're further along. And they say you can't buy self improvement. All right, so now we're up to 142, which is good. Let us get our defense permanent. Oh, we're just we don't have enough to get it permanently. Dang. All right. We got this. The elite enemies Valhalla has chosen for you to target will only continue to manifest. You must adapt and employ all available resources or you will fall again. I don't feel like I want that. I'm gonna go with the Guardian. Where is Freya? Away for the moment. As you know, she's attending to many things presently. Establishing a new governing body for the realms is no simple task. There are leaders to find and recruit, negotiations for sharing power. I'm sure she'd prefer to be here. But you'll have to make do with the three of us for now. I'm sure we're in excellent hands. All right. We got it this time, guys. We got it. Spear throw, the power of the spear throw, and spear. Ooh, that might be good. Both 129. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to go with that one. How long is the stream going to go? I don't know. I mean, we're having fun. I do have a Christmas dinner I need to get to with my in laws at some point tonight, but. All right, increase the damage of all Kratos range attacks and abilities right there. That's exactly what I want. Combo finishers do increase damage. No, no, no. Range specialist. This is perfect. Yes. This should help completely. That's such a good perk right there. Because I like to keep enemies away if possible. Tell me what happened between you and Sigrun on the lake. Well, she was going past where you found her family treasury. Where we learned she cursed her brother over forbidden love. That's right. And as we rode by, I remember feeling grateful that the place was now deep underwater where she couldn't see it. 
And at that moment, she turned to me, and she said, I think, Mimir, I might be smitten with you. I think maybe I want to kiss you. Hmm. Mm, indeed, brother. I mean, there's always been more to us than there's been the opportunity to explore. So much unspoken beneath the surface. I had to name it so boldly. Uh, it took me a bit off guard. Double combo there, they got me in. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like these this set of enemies. Behind you, brother! man when certain enemy types get with me i can't it's so much more tougher like there's just certain enemy types that i'm not good at fighting yet until i get used to replaying this game <sighs> gonna have to re-health up again Immediately restores a moderate amount of or defense. No, I gotta go with that. I can bring some health back other other means. Okay. You will seek run. I'm still waiting for the part where you spoke. In my defense, I only told her the truth as it struck me in the moment. I told her my feelings for her were as deep as Rams Hall and had been for as long as I've known her. But just then a kind of revelation came over me. A sudden cold clarity that it was vanity. I should focus I... on that part now. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Because it does 30% more damage, so the axe and the spear can do really good damage. Spear can be really good because you can do eight spears. So that's a really, really good thing to have. 
Alright, more echoes. Should be getting closer to where we were. So, you told Sigrun you could not give her what she needed. You spoke out of cowardice. Aye, obviously. But as prospects for terror go, can you imagine knowing all along you're not enough for someone? And then living out their slow realization of that truth. I admit it chilled me to the bone. You presume to know how she will feel in the future. Why discredit her wishes and yours in the present? I just can't pretend not to know better. She's romanticized the idea of us. Certainly I've done the same. But is that anything to build a future on? I mean, look at me, brother. Be practical. <laughs> If anyone else disparaged you as you disparage yourself, I would wish to strike them with an axe. Sometimes there's a thing here. No, it's not. Okay. I'm gonna go to the health. See, it's random. See, the rooms that you get are random. You don't really know which room is you're going to go into next as far as the location. All right, immediately restores a little bit amount of health, which we obviously don't need because we're full on health and everything right now. Um, so let's go with strength. I think we're setting ourselves up good for this one. Here we go. All right, we got the big bad body. Big bad bossy. There's the one Valhalla's mark. <laughs> Thirty percent is so good. That's the one you needed. Only took a little bit of damage there, which I can fill with this health. Okay, here we go. This next one should be into that main guy. All right, so we've got this heavy runic attack with our blades. That's a good one. I remember using that one. Or we can get even more strength, runic, and vitality. I gotta go with that. Yeah. So we'll just do a little bit more damage. Okay, let's see what we're at. 
I've got nothing on him. Got one on him. Nothing on him. Okay. It's going to be tough. We need to utilize things correctly. All right, we got this one room here, and then... Now then. <laughs> be unlocked. Let's make our way up. All right. Next up is going to be the boss. So, I've not to take Valhalla up on some help. We need to set ourselves up accordingly. This move we can actually go all the way, so you might as well do it. Get that up to level 3. Um uh, I'm so close to it, I don't think I need it really. Um All right. Yeah, this mode makes you definitely care about what you have equipped when you're going to. See, I feel like I'm in a good position. Mainly, I feel like I'm in a good position because I've got the 30% um, range. So if I can keep this guy at a range, then, then my chances of survival are significantly increased. Because I like to be a ranged player. Not, might not be the uh, the way a lot of you other guys play, but I think the best one is this one. There you go. Just keep doing this over and over again. Keep them, you just, that's why you want to keep them a little close. Oh, my God. 
Never said this was the fastest method. Now we got to do tier again. Oh my god, you can you imagine if we get this far and we die again? Oh my gosh, like they, we we died so easily on the last time we faced tier because I just didn't know any of his moves. Um I don't know how to help you, bud. We don't need a fair amount. We do want that though. I'm gonna try to keep Tyr at bay too, but I don't know his moves well enough. I mean, it was such a short battle. I think I do have a Resurrection Stone still, yes. So that's good. Um, okay. Create a Shockwave that deals high stun to surrounding enemies. Unleash, we get, I'm gonna go with high stun. Let's go with this one just because You have to learn the fight. You're, I mean, I don't I don't think you're going to be able to get through these fights your first time without taking damage. You have to. It's a process that you got to go through, you know. Um, all right. So we got bunch of rage. So remember that we can use our rage. I think first it's going to take us to the main hub area if we need to buy anything. All right. Just for this try, but a little assist would be nice. We're already at max. We only have one rune runic attack, and that was our fault because we went a different route. We didn't do the runes rune routes, so. Later, John. Thanks for coming by, bud. did not want to use that. Oh my god. That's not what I wanted to use. Oh no. That's not good. We don't have a runic attack now. Let me start the fight. 
That is not good. Question is, do I have to do that three thing again? I don't know if I have to do that whole one thing where you have to defeat three big bosses again. Or if we can just go in there this time. I'm back! What a thrill! Oh, I meant to ask. How did you like setting yourself on fire? Truly entertaining stuff. <laughs> Sorry to miss how it ended up. I think maybe you still have some ash on your skin. Am I crazy? Yep, I think I'm gonna have to do this again. Yep. All right, easiest ones over here. Let's see, uh, when the Maelstrom skill gauge is fully charged, successful spear attacks have a moderate luck chance to grant blessing on cooldown. Dodge 
Charge the shield, then press L1 and L3 to fire a volley of Valkyrie shards. Hold R2 in bed. Hold R2 in bed. Spears do increased melee damage. A choice regarding your fate must be nice. I have enough. Oh, I'm just short. Reminder, your foes are getting stronger the longer you fiddle around. is a factor here. All right, so from what... What I can tell is you can just keep doing this. Perfect. 
All right, we're coming in pretty much all powerful. Increase the damage of all Kratos' weapon, attacks, and ability. All right. Guys, this is it. I can't think of anything else that we can really do. We don't have enough for anything, really. Oh, I would really love to have that, but... I'm not going to worry about it. Let's go. I hope we do this. I hope we do this. Oh, I'm back, brother. Welcome back, Kratos. Kratos will win this fight when he is ready for what lies beyond. Okay, yeah, that one I gotta get out of the way. Defend yourself. upon his focus. He is impatient, emotional, easily surprised. A man at one with himself has a clearer mind, sharper instincts. That man is ready to win. That man is ready to rest. Incoming! Above you! Yeah! 
Kratos, I yield. Good then. Perhaps you are ready now. Am I? Honestly, nobody can truly say that but you. Oh my. Man, was that awesome. I know what we did was kind of like, I wouldn't say it's cheesing it, but, you know, we had the 30% melee damage, or not melee, but the 30% range damage, so it makes more sense to fight him, to keep him at bay, um, and then once once we got to use, once I got used to what mechanics he was using and how to evade, pretty, yeah, yeah, like, I, now I feel like I can actually face him in a melee situation now that I know exactly kind of the moves, but he might change his moves if you're a lot closer, so you never know uh, with that either. Important thing is we were able to do it. may have survived that time. So it's Tyr's game you're playing? This is all his idea? A game is not his purpose. There is something here I must see through. And what is that exactly? A process. <sighs> all right. If it's helping, I trust you both. We all do. As we trust in Valhalla. Even after what it did to you? I knew the rules and chose to break them. I regret nothing. The host complete. That was freaking intense, man. New, okay, uh, the cycle. This labor awards divine triumph research is each time you defeat tier. So we're gonna have to defeat tier every single time that we want to continue oh my gosh that is crazy by proving yourself to valhalla there take this you are finding strength and flexibility i'd like to tell you a story that i think will help you along your path proceed early in my life before i was a valkyrie I was a healer in a small village. My father trained me in the use of herbs and natural remedies. To him, coming from a long line of herbal healers, that was the only true medicine. But visiting the city, I saw healers who used magic, only magic, to treat their patients. I'd seen it work, and work wonders. I tried to tell my father, but he said mage healing was against his philosophy. 
a dangerous shortcut that violated tradition. Being a good daughter, I respected his convictions. But that all changed when he took ill. That's a good place to stop for now. When you're further along on your journey, I'll share the next part of my story. We did, looks like we picked up new armor. Ooh. Lost Curious. Ooh, I like this. It's like kind of like a pink look to it. So we just got second versions of these. This is on normal gen, yeah. We just we just went with normal because we just want to try to enjoy it and not die too much. But we've been actually I think it's been a good challenge. Honestly. You're back here and yet you're further along. Guna. Excellent. Valhalla respects you. You give it no choice. I hear you like stories. I got one for you. Proceed. I wasn't born with the privilege of some of my sisters in arms. I wasn't bred for greatness. I was just the daughter of some poor innkeeper. Matter of fact, I wasn't even his. He just raised me after somebody left me there. I didn't have much going for me, but I had one thing. I wasn't afraid of anyone. If somebody was asking for a punch in the face, I never thought twice. Brought a heap of trouble on myself that way, it's true. But I sure learned how to fight. Enough for now. I'll pick that up later. <laughs> Ooh, keys to unlock sanctuary barriers can now be acquired from the Tablet of Influence. So you get keys. <laughs> A chance to bargain with Valhalla itself. So you can buy. Okay, so one key opens up one sanctuary. Three choices instead of two. One more glyph per attempt. So what does this do for you? Twilight stone armor. Does it, visual armor inspired by the reflective stone.
All right. Where is... Oh, here's another. Relics can now be equipped at the relic pedestal when starting an attempt. Oh, nice! So now you can actually start with relics. Okay, interesting. All right, guys. That is going to be it for today's stream. I've got a little Christmas thing to do with my in-laws, but um, I'm really, really enjoying God of War Ragnarok Valhalla. This has actually been quite fun. Um, as far as me streaming tomorrow, I'm not sure. I've got a doctor's appointment and then I'm supposed to drive. Um, so if I do stream this tomorrow, it wouldn't be until tomorrow evening. But I do plan on playing more of this, of course, and hopefully getting to the end. If there is an actual ending, I'm pretty sure there is. There's got to be an ending here. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Thank you all for the loving support. Thanks to Brock for gifting the 10 memberships. Uh, that really, really helps the channel just allow us to keep going strong. And I hope you guys are having a great week and enjoy your Christmas and all that good stuff. And then, of course, I will see you on the next stream. Make sure you subscribe for more God of War content and check out my original God of War Ragnarok um, playthrough. Love you all. We'll see you next time. Peace.